Do you want to know how to turn this into this? Stay tuned because I'm about to show you how to get these amazing Glamour Curls. And I've mentioned this before, but I feel like it's worth saying again. Make sure to stay till the end because the finishing touches are everything. What's up y'all and welcome to The Real Ray. If you're new here, I am Ray. I am a hairstylist, cosmetologist, beautician, whatever you wanna call me, that's me. And today we are talking about curling irons. Technically we are going to use a um, bio-ionic, I think it's called a style winder. I always wanna call it the curl winder, but I think it's called the style winder. Um, so I'm gonna use this like a wand today, and so I've used it in my other videos, but to give you a little bit more of a up close and personal, what happens is it like turns this way, and the clamp is more like manual than like springy. So in my opinion, it's kind of like a hybrid of like a Marcel iron and a regular curling iron, but it makes it easy to use it like a traditional curling iron and like using this to curl up under, or you can use it like a wand, which we're about to do right now. So you're gonna need a couple things to get started. A curling iron or wand. You know what I'm gonna say next too. Heat protection. Safety first, and a hairbrush, giant comb, and um, a clip or two, or you can even use a scrunchie. Step one, get the tangles out, because you don't wanna like start your curls being all like gross and tangly, right? No more tangles, at least for like the next 30 seconds. And then hair clip time. I found this giant one and I decided that it was appropriate to use today. So for this one, I don't like to do like teeny tiny sections. I wanna do like bigger sections because you know, we're all about like working smarter, not harder. So I'm gonna just take this section like from my ears all the way back around. and then clip the top out of the way. Let's see if my giant clip works, y'all. Huh? Yeah, that's working. And heat protection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap each, I'm gonna go in the same direction in each piece. I'm not so worried about doing like the same size in each section, um, but just more like going in the same direction. Start at the top. And I'm holding my iron very firmly as I'm wrapping it around. So make sure that you have enough space between your ear and the iron in an attempt to not burn your ear. And just leave it here for a couple of seconds. If you um, are coordinated enough, you can kind of like tap it with your finger, to see if it's warm. And once it gets warm, it's basically done. Um, you don't want to burn your hair, so don't let it sit for a super long time. Um, and so I found that when I do this and I like just unwrap it instead of just like letting it fall off the iron, it works best. So gently unwrap. Ta-da! And then I will just continue that through this section. Okay, so that section is done. Voila, and repeat. This time I'm gonna take from like my eyebrows all the way back. I wish my eyebrows came out like that far, wouldn't that be great? 
I mean, some of y'all probably have like awesome eyebrows that like grow. <laughs> Mine are, um, you know, just penciled in as I'm sure you've noticed because their shape is always uh, very different depending on the day. So again, heat protection. This side. Notice that I'm holding the curl and iron the same way on each of them. And again, be careful not to touch your face to it. I feel like my hand being right here makes it a little bit easier to not um, accidentally touch your face with the iron. Okay, two things. Number one, you'll notice that like on my bigger sections, uh, when I was wrapping it, um, like I would let it sit on the first part for like an extra second before I finished wrapping it. And that's because on those sections, like there's more hair up here, right, than down towards the bottom. And I wanted the heat to sit a little bit longer there. Number two, this is a good time um, in the process to get your hand and dandy mirror out and check the back to make sure you haven't missed anything. All right, I missed this little front. I'm not sure that it matters. We're just gonna curl it real quick so it doesn't feel left out. And then we will repeat the process by spraying heat protectant. Okay, so this top section was all that down seemed like too much, so I just took a little bit out because I'm gonna keep my side part. Uh, so I'm just gonna over here and we're going to go ahead and curl this kind of like smaller section just because there's more hair on this side so I want to part over here instead. Okay, so as you can see, I'm doing my side part instead of a middle part. Just really because last time I curled my hair, I did a middle part and I wanna do a side part today. Um, so as we're getting started on this side, I would like to go ahead and remind you to hit that subscribe button for me before you get all caught up and excited to go curl your hair. Help me out, I'm really trying to grow my YouTube channel, so. Uh, the more subscribers, the better. And also, if y'all um, are enjoying the content, if you have any like relevant comments or I normally leave some sort of question of the day, uh, yeah, if you would like to comment, it helps too. Just like all the engagement lets YouTube know that my videos are good. So, if you feel like my videos are good, if you would just help me to do that, please. And thank you so much. Okay, back to curling. And sometimes this will happen and that's okay. Now see she's fine at the end being uncurled. You can also go back if it bothers you and just wrap the bottom for just a second. Just kind of like long enough for it to get warm. And watch your fingers hot. 
사랑Okay, so now that everything is curled, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, it looks like everything's curled. Y'all take look at check it out. I am going to um sign my my spray. So this has a little light hold to it, so I'm gonna go ahead and like spritz a little everywhere. I know uh, my regular viewers, that's no surprise to you, and if you are a new viewer, you should know I have a product problem. But products do like really make everything easier and if you think about it, we use a ton of different things on our face. So why is it unreasonable to use a ton of stuff on our hair? Just saying. So I'm going to um, let this cool for like five minutes because I want it to be all the way set. You know, when it's warm, it's still setting. Once it's cool, it's kind of like gotten in its groove. Uh, so yes, I'm going to do that and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, we're all done. <laughs> Just kidding, y'all know better for sure. Okay, so you know I need some more product. Let me find my oil. Some Loma oil. Don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead. Ooh, my oil fell in with my iron. It's almost bad. Okay. Put a little bit of oil in your hands, rub your hands together and kind of like work it through the ends. And if y'all haven't already subscribed, remember, go ahead and help a girl out. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure and hit the like button. Okay, so you could, if you wanted to just kind of like stop here after like raking through your fingers, through your fingers, <laughs> after raking through your hair with your fingers. And you see it kind of just like breaks all that up so they're like, not so perfect uh, and that looks really great or you could also get crazy and like brush through it or use a big comb y'all know I like my big comb and it seems scary like it's just gonna all go away but that curl is in there she's just kind of you know she's gonna bounce back yeah look at that Okay, so that, I think, is the exact finishing touch I wanted, and the holidays are coming up. I think this is a great look for a holiday party or just for every day. It's very, like, glamorous, but also not overdone. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see your beautiful faces soon. Y'all have an amazing, wonderful weekend. I'll see you next time. All right. It's the real Ray. <laughs> Bye.